Okay, so how the fan, the uh, fan assisted oven works is you've got a fan basically, you can see that there, but round it is an element. So our fan um, still works, but it doesn't heat the oven. So I'm taking it that the element is, is broken in there. Um, so what we're going to do is remove that element uh, and replace it. So it's this, this oven here, this model. Um, it's about seven or eight years old. And the fan uh, part of the, the fan assisted oven part has, has gone. So I'm going to replace the element in that uh, today. And this is a quick video of uh, how easy or difficult that <laughs> is to do that um, obviously this is not a brand new oven this will be like most people's ovens well used and you know covered in all sorts of gunk over the years so uh, I don't know how easy it is uh, how easy it's going to be to get this apart so I know there's videos on YouTube showing you on a brand new oven um, but this will be Probably a more realistic representation for most people. So, let's see how we get on. So, to start off, we need the element, the new element. And I'm going to start off with a small screwdriver with a cross head on it. And I've got a couple of flat head electricals just in case. We one as well. Uh, and that's about it really, you don't need much more than that. Um, so all we need to do is release these four uh, screws and that will let us into the fan and the element hopefully. But the first thing to do is to isolate your oven which is switch it off completely. So switch it off totally at the mains. Actually, the cooker at the fuse box is completely off. So now we're going to start in here. A wee bit of light on the subject. And just use the screwdriver. <coughs> okay, I'm just using a wee cross head driver. A cross head. <coughs> Okay, now we can see the fan there with the, the element. See that there. Now I have to use my gun to get those screws off. Uh, the top two came off okay, uh, these top two. The bottom two I had to use my screw extraction kit because the, the head's just completely gone in these screws. So I need two new screws, so just uh, be aware of that. So I've ended up using 
this which is really just a small uh, cheap kit of um, uh, screw extraction tools uh, when they work it's great sometimes they don't work though so um, I've got the extra one in there so this, this one comes with four it's useful to have um, you know if you're uh, unscrewing things a lot uh, sometimes you do run into problems it doesn't take up much room it's quite light and it's there if I need it and today I needed it first time in years <laughs> my impact driver managed to get the two screws at the top but the two screws at the bottom the heads were gone so I had to use uh, a screw extraction kit I'll put a link for everything I use um, in the description below for anybody that's got problems so basically there's I need two new screws to fix this now um, so it's going to take me a bit longer than anticipated but it's always a problem when you're dealing with um, the old equipment it's never as straightforward as you think it's going to be um, there's always there's always something crops up so basically these two screws were solid um, uh, they wouldn't come out with a screwdriver or even the screwdriver on my uh, on my impact driver so I had to use these things to, to get the screw out it's the first time I've ever used them I've had them for, for years <laughs> and it's actually they actually worked which is uh, amazing so they really gripped that screw I can't get that out again I need a pair of pliers just to take that off but uh, yeah, once it gets a grip uh, it just takes them right out and having the impact driver really helped because uh, it, it just it does that vibration dig, 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 you know so um, it, it sort of hammers the screw out if you like uh, so that makes a big difference so I can't believe how strongly in they were and that's something you probably want to consider uh, when you're ordering stuff up is probably just test those screws and see how tight they are and uh, if they're really tight you be as well order up a new set of screws, four screws for all they would be a pound or something, I don't know, it wouldn't be much money. So that's it off and as you can see in there we've got the element showing and there's another couple of wee screws, hopefully they'll come out um, sensibly and then we'll be able to pull the element that just sits there and then get a new one, a new one fitted hopefully. So. It's probably a good idea just to use hand tools if you can get away with it. So I'm just going to use the screwdriver. I'm going to use my, my light. They are in for good as well. Mm, right, not coming out easily. This one just needs that initial breakout. This wee driver's worth its weight in gold, I tell you. So you can see the screws are pretty rusty. Uh, they've rusted up a wee bit, so just be years, obviously, heat and steam and all sorts. So that's the two screws out, and I should just pull out now. Which it's doing. Thank God, something working. It should. Now, you will see that it's two, there's two wires coming out, one and two, they are both the same, it looks like, is that red? So what you want to do is disconnect those two spade clips, but you don't want your wire to fire back in, if it flies back in again, then we're in trouble. So 
все. I need to take these off. One. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's good. It's just going to sit there. It's a bit short for my liking. Oh. Two. I've still got a hold of these cables up here. They sit so close to that, it's ridiculous. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Now, this is a new one. So before I open it, make sure part numbers are exactly the same and Yep. The new one's got red bits, the old one's got green bits. So, the same part number, same wattage. Um, so, we'll take the old one away, put the new one in. So, put it in exactly the way it came out. Two. There we go. So now you can see both of them are on properly, and it's ready just to push in gently. Push it in, try not to disturb. Us there. So, I'll just check the fan. That's cool. That's good. Okay. I'm just going to put those two tiny screws in again. got a magnetic screwdriver you can just put it on and then stick it straight in just be careful of the element and just put them in hand tight don't be using your drill to tighten them up Just need to put this on again. Now, make sure your fan's nice and loose. Make sure that's all good to go. And put the cover on. So I was ready to test it. I've only got two screws in there at the moment, but I'll be ordering up another two. Um, I'm going to use it just with the two just to test it just now. Um, I'll get the other screws ordered up as soon as. I'll put the link, uh, put a link in below for the screws and the, the new element for this oven. So, power's back on again. So, yeah, it's one of these ones. You have to adjust the clock. I don't even know what time it is. That should be us. Right, ready for the tests. Definitely starting to get warm already. You can smell the element. That's us. 
ready for use. And that is how you change the element in your oven. Not an easy job when it's all uh, when it's been uh, in use for eight years. As usual, all the tools and the parts are all down below in the description. Uh, just to make it a bit easier for you to find them. Um, so, if you're going to be replacing your oven element, good luck with it. I hope it goes well and you end up with a hot oven at night.